Welcome platform players for another installment of the PPTA, APTA instructional videos. My name is Nate Parsons, president of the PPTA. I am joined by Mike Marino, top PPTA professional and top ranked national player. Today we are going to discuss the serve and first volley. So Mike, why don't we discuss the serve to start? Why don't you talk me through how to hit a spin serve and a flat serve? All right, well, why don't we start with the flat serve? That's a simpler, more simpler of the two. Uh, a little more basic and uh, can be hit by players at any levels. Um, with the flat serve, you want to make sure that uh, um, get your toss out in front, uh, you know, maybe an arm's length, a couple feet inside the baseline, something like that, because you want it to lead you heading up into the net so you can make that first volley. Okay, Mike, let's get a grip. If we're going to hit the flat serve, give me your thoughts on what grips that you would prefer to use. You know, a flat serve can be hit with a number of grips. It can be hit with either the continental grip which is kind of the pound the nail with the hammer grip, or it can also be hit with what's called an eastern forehand grip, which um, if you take your hand and move it slightly to the right from the continental, uh, it makes it a little bit easier to kind of meet the ball squarely and flat on the serve. Okay, Mike, now if we're going to hit that spin serve, what's the grip that we recommend? Spin serve, you want to go with the continental grip. You need something that's going to allow you to lead the edge of the paddle towards the ball a little bit better, and that'll create the spin on the ball. Okay, Mike, why would I want to hit a spin serve rather than a flat serve? What are the advantages to the spin compared to flat? With the spin serve, you're able to hit the ball significantly harder, and also when the ball hits, it's going to bounce to the side as opposed to a flat serve, which will bounce straight forward, giving the hitter a nice shot to hit at. Okay, Mike, so we've covered the serve, which is half the problem. Now we're going to talk about the way we're running to the net. Uh, give me some of your thoughts when you're making the first volley that you're really thinking about. It's really important get the toss inside the baseline like we talked about before an arm's length inside because you have to get that head start and getting up to the net in a hurry. Um, your goal is to uh, finish your stroke but then take a couple of really fast steps as you're moving towards the net. As you're approaching the net you're going to start to slow down a little bit uh, so that you're in control to hit the volley but you don't want to completely stop. I think it's also really important that at the point, uh, contact point in the volley that you keep the hands in close and quiet to your body so that you can direct your volley a little bit. As soon as we start to reach and extend, we're going to lose control of the volley. Okay, Mike, so kind of sum it all up. When would you make the transition from a flat serve to a spin serve? Yeah, I, I feel like once you've kind of mastered the flat serve, I feel like you can get it in at will anytime you want. I think it's time to graduate to adding some spin and some pace to your serve. I think that'll elevate your game and make it much harder for the returner to get a good, clean look at your serve. Perfect. And Mike, if we try to avoid some fouls or running in, again, what are the two big things you try to avoid on when making your first volley? Definitely want to make sure that you're getting closer to the net. You don't want to stop and split step, but you also don't want to be out of control. Perfect. Well, Mike, thanks for your time. And uh, if you're looking for some good tips, find your local PPTA pro on pptausa.com.